My name is Emil Tori. I'm a full-time filmmaker and YouTuber here in Los Angeles. In this course, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know, not only to have a brand channel where you're on camera, you're making a lot of money, you're getting ad revenue, sponsorships, deals through YouTube. If you are shy and you don't wanna be on camera, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know to run YouTube automated channels. And what is a YouTube automated channel? A YouTube automated channel or a list channel, a faceless channel is a channel that has videos, narration, content. It's optimized. The creator is never on camera. Everything that you see is either created by AI, by stock media, or by some other means, but the creator's never on there. They collect massive amounts of ad revenue and you can make an amazing living. I know that you've seen these channels before because if you go to YouTube and you type in, what are the best hotels in Paris? And you get these stock footage of hotels in Paris and you get a voiceover that's usually not the creator, it's an AI person, then that is a list channel. It is a YouTube automated channel. And then on the other side of that, someone is collecting ad revenue, they're getting sponsorships from hotels, et cetera, et cetera. That is one avenue. The other avenue is to do a brand channel where you're actually on channel. Beauty vlogs are one thing. Vlogs, Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, all these influencers that you see on YouTube, that is a brand channel. Now there is something in the middle called a hybrid channel, which I will teach you that also in this course. What is a hybrid channel? A hybrid channel is exactly what I do sometimes. I have a brand channel. I will talk, I will vlog, I will give tutorials and how to's, gear reviews. I will also use AI to make content, to make automated videos, throw them onto to my channel, what do they do? Well, they entertain, they inform. I don't have to be involved and I collect the ad revenue. I am also a full-time filmmaker. I'm a film director. I've won some awards here in Los Angeles. If you want to go the filmmaking route, there's certainly that avenue and I can teach you that also. I have my own Academy of Arts. Kismet Academy of the Arts where passion meets opportunity. This is the best opportunity to learn how to content create, how to create video and create content using your personality, using the equipment that you have, exactly where you are, whether it be in Kansas, New York, Florida, you shouldn't be in Florida, you should move out of Florida. Let's get right into the first lesson today and I'm gonna show you how to build a YouTube channel. So this is my YouTube channel right here. Obviously, I already have the channel established and created. When you start a YouTube channel, you're gonna create a Google account, create an email address, you're gonna for myself and then you're gonna go through the prompts and then you're gonna create an email address you're gonna have something like this and it's going to say no channel and then you're gonna go to the very top right you're gonna click this you're gonna go down here you're gonna click settings and then you're gonna go to add or manage channels and then you are going to create a channel and then you're gonna name it beauty with Bob and then you're gonna go like that create channel now that you have this it's gonna pop up here beauty with Bob and then there you go the channel is created and then the very first thing that you can do is you can go ahead and do this and you can upload your very first video and then there you go your channel is created all right so that's how you start a youtube channel you go to your main profile if you don't have anything you go to settings you go to add manage channels and then you are going to go to create a channel define a niche. What does it mean to define a niche? Well, you have to pick a niche on YouTube. Are you in the automotive industry? Are you in the beauty? Are you in investing? Are you in finance? Are you in travel? Are you in relationships? So health, wealth, and relationships are the highest niches out there. Now, how do we determine what the niche pays or doesn't pay? Well, it's called CPM, clicks per minute. It's determined by what do advertisers want to pay to run ads on your video. For instance, my niche, the filmmaking, video, content creation niche is going to be a much higher paying niche than let's say a gamer. If you're a Fortnite YouTuber, advertisers are not as willing to have their products run commercials on your videos if you're a Fortnite gamer versus if you were talking about the best credit cards out there, best investment funds, the best index funds, you're going to have a lot more advertisers out there that want to run their products on your video. So if you can pick a niche, a niche or niche, however you want to pronounce it, that is advertiser friendly and make content within that niche, make it so that it conforms with the YouTube rules and terms and conditions, then you are setting yourself up for success. There are channels out there that focus on kids, unless you are specifically making kid-friendly content, like cartoons, like animation, like educational, I would stay away from anything involving kids. Because if you get a COPA violation, which is the Children Online Protection Act, I think that's it, COPA? Anyway, so it's C-O-P-A-A, I think. Yeah, 
If you get any one of those violations, you're done. Don't do anything involving kids. Don't cater to kids. Don't do anything involving kids unless you are specifically making kid-friendly content. You're just, don't even touch that. You get yourself in trouble. Make content that is within your niche and you'll do really well. You'll get paid really well. Now, let's talk about developing a unique brand identity. The best thing you can do for yourself out there on YouTube is to not be like anyone else. You have to be yourself. Now, what does that mean as far as you making videos? Example, there's a grandmother out there. She's in her 80s, I think, or 70s or 80s. She's a sassy grandma and she makes content about how to knead bread without yeast. She could be like anybody out there. It could be boring. We're talking about bread. We're talking about kneading bread massaging bread essentially what are we talking about right but because of her personality because of her sassiness she comes out everyone gravitates towards her and she has a youtube channel about how to knead bread without yeast and she made 37 million dollars last year why because she picked a niche that is very specific the more you niche down the more reach the more niche the more reach so let's say that you are a sudanese baker who happens to be a mechanical engineer who loves art well guess what if you niche down and you're the Sudanese artistic mechanic, you have no competition. There's no other people out there that are a Sudanese mechanic who happens to specialize in art and can teach you how to bake bread. So the more niche, the more specific that you can get, the more you separate yourself from the masses and the better you're going to do because you have a specific brand that is different than everyone else. YouTube is going to identify that. YouTube is going to support that. People are going to gravitate towards your content, towards your personality. So it really behooves you. Triple down on who you truly are. Don't change your tone, your voice, your personality for someone else, or don't try to be like someone else. I tried to be like Casey Neistat when I first started my YouTube journey. I tried to be like Peter McKinnon. None of it worked. But as soon as I started being who I am, my snarky personality, I happen to be a very kind person in real life, but I'm an Aries. I'm hot tempered sometimes. I allowed my personality to come out in all its forms on YouTube. People gravitated towards that. My subscribers went up. My content did a lot better. Be yourself. I can't overemphasize this. Be who you truly are on YouTube, YouTube will reward you in spades. That's how you build a solid brand. Now, on the other side, if you are building an automated YouTube channel and you are not on camera, you have to understand that you are building a product because if your channel gets to a point where it's making two, three, four million dollars a year, you can actually sell that as collateral through other means and sell that channel for exorbitant amounts of money because what you have is you have a passive income generating product that makes two, three million dollars a year and you've built it up through through stock footage and AI and whatever means that you use. So there's different avenues. You have to figure out, do you want to be attached to the brand? You want to be a content creator? Do you want to be the face? Or do you want to build a product that is self-sustaining that you can later on sell as a passive income product, as a business in of itself? In the next lesson, we are going to go over essential gear. What do you need to make content? What do you need to make automated videos? What do you need to have great sound, great footage, the software, the computers, the video editing software, where everything that you need from A to Z to make a video and make it worth watching on YouTube, something that the audience is gonna love. We're gonna cover that in the next lesson. So I hope you learned something. Please consider subscribing. This is going to be an ever evolving course, a very living, breathing course. The classes in this course are going to evolve as technology evolves, as different techniques evolve. As I learn more things that improve my filmmaking, my content creating, I'm gonna share them with you. I don't wanna gatekeep. I want you to have the newest information as I get it. With that, please set up your YouTube channel. Please get everything set up. And then in the next lesson, we'll go over the gear that you need.